Cats and TV. Hey everybody, Cats and TV here, and today we are looking at the Korg Volca FM. The Volca FM uses the same six operator FM voice architecture and is patch compatible with the classic Yamaha DX7 synthesizer as well as the TX802 module. Most people are familiar with these instruments through their presets, including that awful electric piano used at every wedding and bar mitzvah in the 1980s. In this video, we will deconstruct this preset, but first a primer on FM synthesis. To understand FM synthesis, think of an oscillator and an LFO, but make that LFO run very fast. Now imagine six such oscillators put together in various ways. The DX7 voice architecture has 32 different arrangements of these six oscillators or operators. These arrangements are perhaps erroneously called algorithms. The power of FM comes when you set the ratios and levels of these operators individually. Yes, here's that cheesy DX7 piano. Now we're going to start deconstructing it by editing some of the parameters. Okay, we're going to select algorithm 3 and we're going to change the coarse frequency ratio. Okay, so that changes the sound subtly. Let's add a little bit on the fine frequency ratio. Still pretty subtle. Maybe I should have picked a different operator but we're gonna crank it up a notch by switching the ratio from pitch tracking to fixed. You can hear that we get a much more bell-like sound due to the inharmonic frequencies. We can also select a different algorithm And now you can hear that we're getting a more interesting sound while retaining the contours of the original E piano. Okay, let's crank the feedback up a little bit. Gives it a bit of a harsher sound. Very classic FM. We can also start to edit some of the other operators a little bit. Okay, that one wasn't that interesting. Now one feature the Volca FM has that the DX7 did not is the ability to switch algorithms on the fly with a knob. We go back to one of the factory presets to demonstrate. We can even record and playback these algorithm changes with the built-in sequencer. We get some very unusual and dynamic sounds this way. These and other programming parameters can be controlled from an external sequencer like Ableton Live as well, but we will leave that for a future video. Thanks for watching. Check out more at www.catsynth.com and please subscribe to CatSynth TV.